at YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. We are stage four of the big build, the uh, the garden rooms and the shed. A really nice uh, uh, project that I'm doing for somebody, uh, a customer that has asked me. It's a neighbour, uh, so I do know them. <laughs> so added pressure <coughs> in getting it right because they're spending quite a lot of money on this and uh, I need to get it right. I will get it right. I have been so far. They're extremely happy as we've got to this point. Um, bit of uh, just housekeeping. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it's really important that when you watch a video that you like it. Press the thumbs up. Uh, that shows YouTube that you like this sort of thing and uh, it helps my channel. Uh, so please do that. Um, and uh, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please subscribe. It's exciting. I'm inside. I'm essentially, I'm not quite weather type because there's no windows yet. They're on order, <laughs> still on order. Uh, but I'm going to start doing uh, the interior. So setting that out. So this is stage four. It's been an epic build so far. So, uh, and I'll give you a quick little look around. What we're doing here, stage four is building. I say we're building garden rooms. Uh, a really nice garden room, big, but it's split it's, uh, with a, a stud wall here and we've got the shed the other side. So I'm just going to show you around in case you haven't seen any of the other uh, stage one to three. Um, and we'll show you where we're at. So this is the garden room side and you can see we've got to get all now. I'm going to first job I'm going to be doing is actually laying the cable uh, for the lighting and the plug sockets. So I'm going to be running that through the walls and around. Um, uh, from over there we'll walk continue to walk through the wall because we can at the minute we're into the shed side you can see uh, where the armored cable is coming in down there so I'm going to take and we will have a junction box up the top it's going to come from there so I'm going to run everything from this corner and uh, we will run the lights get the, the cabling for the lights. so that's what we're going to do first before we start laying the uh, uh, insulation let's get the cable in and then I'll make that neat and tidy so that's where we're at we've got a nice uh, and there's going to be spotlights underneath there as well so underneath the roof out the front so we've still got to finish that there's a uh, finish all underneath uh, but it's it's looking good really really pleased as you can see that's the interior looking back so that's what we're going to be doing on stage four Okay, electrics, um, as I said, the fuse box is here. So what we've got is basically daisy chaining everything. So the lights are going up through there. I've just cut them in, just to start getting them in the walls, the cabling, coming down to a light switch here. And that actually goes through over the top to get the cabling. You can see all the lighting, which has just been cut. Uh, daisy chain along there for all the spots on the outside it goes also this uh, another light switch which is going on the corn on down there and you can see the lights then for the light switch going up uh, for the outside lights and for the inside I haven't run the inside yet because I'm on Eclipse and they've got to go up there um, you can see the running for the which you can see over the other side of the wall it's coming down there so with a power uh, plug socket there two on the back here you can see where we're going to put them into the wall and uh, and then it runs along there plug socket there one into the wall and one over there so that's what we've got to so far So, as you can see, we've been starting to get the rectus ceiling, the insulation in the ceiling. So this is the shed side. So it's nice and tight. Um, so we've done that. I hate this bit. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> it's messy. But there's no finesse about it. You just stuff it in, get it in. So anyway, that's where we're at. Got some more there. And uh, we've done quite a lot today. No, and uh, a big thanks to Henry on the uh, give us a wave, Henry, on the in through the window. Love That's Henry. <laughs> right. 
So that's where we're at, end of day, full day, two of us on it. That's been really helpful for me. I'm back on my own tomorrow, uh, but it's all good. Um, inside so it can rain do i care now no because i'm essentially watertight i've got loads to do in here the rain is not going to stop play so gonna have a good week regardless so uh back on it tomorrow bye thursday the 21st of april got a croaky throat this morning um so we are back on build as working on my other job yesterday i was here Tuesday, so it's a strange week again. Monday off, it was bank holiday Monday, I had Easter off. So I've only done one day this week so far and here we are Thursday and I've done one day. <laughs> so anyway, I need to crack on <laughs> all this time off. <laughs> and I've got a bit of a croaky throat this morning. I'm sure you can hear that. Um, insulation, so we're, we're putting the insulation in the, in the roof and then we're gonna get on with all the, all the internal stuff. So that's, Today, let's see where we go, see where we get to. So, go in the rector seal, you need a good tape measure, Stanley knife, and a good straight edge. This is an actual straight edge, steel forge, aluminium, 1800 long. So, uh, but any straight edge will do, because it's not about precision, it's about just getting it tight in the cavities. So, that's what you need. Cut the rectus And a good saw, obviously. Get yourself cheap saws. I've gone through four. Um, oh, this is a brand new one, not used it yet, but they, this insulation really blunts up your uh, your saw. So just get your cheap and cheerful ones. Once they're dead, they're dead. So perfect. Friday the 22nd. Have my coffee. It's a few wispy clouds in the sky. I could be a weather presenter. It could be the green screen behind. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, this morning, today, I'm gonna make a door for the shed because that's just gonna be a, a wooden, uh, wooden door. So I'm about to make the door here and uh, then I'm gonna be cutting in some more, cutting in the walls, getting the OSB up and doing some more prep work for the electric. So, <coughs> got a good day ahead. So, the rector seal is pretty much in. Um, so, that was an, another rector seal day. That's not my favorite job on these things, but <laughs> it has to be done. Um, it's a hundred mil thick, a hundred mil of uh, insulation. So warmest host this is going to be obviously when it's got some windows and some doors in <laughs> so we'll get on with the day and see how we do okay just making the shed door and uh I've taken the sides off. I cut those, which are there, but once I put them on and then I looked down them, they were quite twisted, which was really twisting the door out and that was just not gonna work. So I found another length, four by two, which is much, much better, I hope. So I'm gonna put that together and hopefully that's all good. So. So we have a basic frame for the door. It's square and it's pretty and it's not really twisted. I mean, you talk about a meal maybe, but nothing that's gonna matter once it's all pulled in. So uh, that's good. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna let that dry. It's gluing, glued and screwed. Um, and then I'll put the braces in across the top and the bottom, but I'm just gonna let that square up at the moment and just let dry, let the glue dry. I've got other jobs to do so I can do that, leave that setting. Then the braces will go on it and then I'll stop making it. Brilliant. Just putting the noggins in for the electrics. 
So that's sitting, this is gonna be clad this side, so you can see that's just sitting, just proud. So, so it's gonna sort of come along there really, so that'll fix in quite nicely. So then when I cut around it, nice and easy. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, back boxes on the wall. Fuse box is gonna be up there, coming down, following around and just basically daisy chained along the wall. Uh, so I can start putting the wall up now, the insulation on the wall. Uh, we've got them there, we've got them there, and we've got them through in there. And one down here. So it follows around, all daisy chained. Perfect. The insulation on the shed side we've got that that's 100 mil it's all sort of packed in so uh you can see the cabling i've been doing the um so now i'm going to do the actual osb this side put the walls on finish uh do the interior walls so the interior skin so there we go that's nicely done happy <laughs> You need lots of tools, obviously. <laughs> you need a good toolkit when you're doing this. Uh, but when you're cutting in particularly sockets and windows here, I'll do my finger thing again, and I way out, <laughs> way off camera. A multi tool. Um, I have a Dewalt brushless 18 volt. So it it's sort of essential, really. It makes things a lot easier, as you can see. Pushing it down, shaky camera. Um, making cutting all those things in uh, and I've just been out of cut half I did some of it by hand and then just getting it just get right gets right in so a multi-tool um, I think power tool world at the moment online best price for miles um, power tool in the UK anyway um, not in the US but um, in the UK power tool world I think it's called um, there's some stuff I've got my eye on, but I need to get some more work to be able to afford it. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I will be getting... The thing I haven't got is a nail gun or a first and second fixed nail nail guns. Um, so I'm after those, got my eye on those. but And that would have sped up, like, all the outside stuff and, and putting this up because I could just bang it in, but I'm screwing it on. But until you can afford it, you wait. So no worries. So, but anyway, multi-tool invaluable so many things it can do The shed side walls are up. Be a corking to do around the the, uh, the, uh, the, the edges of the, the ceiling and, and, and so forth, but essentially it's done. So I'm just gonna show you around the new shed. Here we go. Starting outside, we are going to go in. So we're going in the door and we can see that side is looking nice. And then we pan around and it's a lovely space all around the door, the walls. You see, that's for the light switch. We've got the plugs are all sitting out nicely cut in. There's one behind there, a plug. That's where the, uh, as we've said before, that's where the fuse box is going to go. Uh, so the power's coming in. So this is the shed. It's in its empty state. Looking fabulous. What we're doing now is we are going to make, continue to make the door. 
So uh, that will be the next stage, just to effectively seal off the shed. So all good news. On we go. So there's a door, that's one side. We did the just the outside, got it hung, made that. Uh, more work to do because it's got to uh, got to just get it absolutely in. But essentially, it's there. So we've got a shed door, built that. It's looking nice. It's very weighty. It's going to have no more OSB this side, and obviously all the insulation. Uh, and then we've got the locks to put in. So. Fabulous job. There she is. Oh, looking good. Everything else is uh, grey UPVC windows. So they're going to be French doors and openers. So it's going to look nice. Right, that's signing off for today and should be back. I will be back Monday. Good morning, Monday the 25th. Another week starts. Um, windows and doors today, they're going in. So uh, that's exciting. Uh, will be fully watertight and weatherproof by the end of the day. All the all the big spaces. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today and continuing with the inside. So great stuff. Let's get on with it. Next job that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting battening because I want exposed beams. So um, I measure the distance. These are still going to go around the joists and then I can get that in uh, ready for the insulation and uh, put the cladding in there. So you can see it's going to run around all of the ceiling uh, so that I've got, then I can get a really nice perfect fixing for all the cladding in the ceiling. So that's the way to do that. Nice and easy. Thursday the 28th of April. <laughs> I 
What year is it? <laughs> what year is it? Um, right, we're back on. I've had uh, two days uh, away working on my other job. I've been up in Sheffield. So for many of you in the UK that are up in that part of the world, I took a nice uh, long train journey from down here in Dorset all the way up to Sheffield to go and uh, uh, work or do some uh, a meet have a meeting and uh, a day conferencing day with my other job so uh had a great day um which is my job in mental health so fabulous right back on it today um cladding we're going to be cladding all of this so that's where we're going to get to lots of cuts that's what this this will be a day of cuts and uh yes and for those of you uh, who may be looking in and saying, where's your nail gun? Well, I can't afford one yet. So uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for some more work and then I will get a nail gun. So I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, which is, nice little pin hammer and and some and some pins, some nails, some nice, nice little nails. Gonna put it all in. Yes, it's longer, I know, but, have to wait so that's fine okay so cut slots it's going to be complete it's going to look stunning in here well i hope so anyway that depends on me doesn't it that's down to me is it going to look stunning oh yeah i i i believe it is yes it will be <laughs> so uh i'm going to be using uh yeah i've got me uh japanese saws um i might go and get me uh my little uh, dovetail saw as well me japanese back saw that will be a good one to have on this because i'm doing some really fine cuts so uh it'll be a good one to have as well as i've got me uh me mitre saw so all all the tools apart from a nail gun which would just boom boom but i haven't got it have i that's okay so that's what we're gonna do today all right
we are nearly finished. <laughs> um, cleaning up, sanding. I'm just gonna make all the blemishes in this room. So lots of sanding, um, cleaning, um, getting it pristine. And there's some beading, uh, some edging that I've just gotta do around the edges as well, around just uh, some final touches. So that's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm gonna be getting on with. And then I'm done. I've built it. <laughs> so let's get on with it. the 10th of May. It is four-ish in the afternoon. I finished, I built it. <laughs> um, the only thing that's left to do, which is not down to me, is the electrics, the electrician. I've obviously, I've laid all the cabling, but you can see uh, cabling up. Hey, get the finger, yeah, hit it, yeah. <laughs> um, lights, light switches. I'm gonna give you a, sh a tour around and show you but stage four is finished i finished the outside as well a little there was a little bit of extra within stage four of, of the inside i needed to finish the outside where the lights are going to go um so been an epic build it's been about 30 working days um so uh actual 30 working days uh pretty much solo the whole time uh the occasional uh, day or half a day I've had somebody uh, with me uh, but I built it it's done and uh, I'm super pleased so I start my next job my next main job next week so uh, that's this one so I'm going to show you around and uh, give you a good tour so there she is she's sitting there looking lovely uh, at the bottom of the garden um, And the old shed that was there, it's gone. Um, some bits there that if they're gonna make that a seating area, I believe. So she's sitting there uh, nicely. And we come down here. So we've got a lovely window there. And I, the old shed door is uh, in the way there at the minute, but we can see. And we come down. And the door is there and we will go inside the shed. Bit dark in here because obviously there's no electrics and no light. Um, but you can see it's already getting kitted out. So an amazing shed space um, that we've done, that we've built. Looking back and then light switches are going there. The fuse board is going up there. And then we come out. let's go inside into the garden room and you can see it's nicely finished finished with some uh, some lovely moldings around the edge uh, this is going to be painted the customer's going to paint it in here so the uh, that, that the final finishing is down to them um, my work is done <laughs> Uh, and you can see going around the edge, looking back. Uh, as you see, these sockets have got to be uh, finished with the electrician, but it is looking super nice, super, super pleased. So it's gonna be a lovely, lovely space. It is a lovely space now in here. You can see the detail there in the corner where I have brought that in and around the edge looking outside and then just looking back from inside so that's 
Stage four completed and uh, the build is done. So this has been a big garden build from the, the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, the Small Workshop is, I've had a big adventure out <laughs> building this. Um, yeah, 30 odd days of building. So super pleased. Um, there's gonna be lots more coming out. Um, I'll be following with lots of the other projects that I've got going on. Uh, there'll be some more stuff back in the workshop. Um, so super pleased. So if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Um, press the thumbs up for this. Um, really appreciate it, um, just sharing the video. I love your comments, so please interact. Um, uh, comments are brilliant. It's great talking to you guys and girls out there uh, about what you're up to and sharing. And if you want to ask me anything about the build, how it's been, um, more than happy to uh, uh, engage and talk. Uh, and, and just, so yes, inviting your comments uh, all shapes and sizes, please uh, keep them coming. Um, as I said, please like it uh, and share it and uh, we'll see where we go with there. So um, until the next one, please, um, it's from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures. Take care, everybody. Bye.